water signs, what I'm getting for you is really kind of like hitching your wagon to the momentum of the week. So for instance, um, if you like work from home like I do and you might wake up later on during the day, you really feel like a Friday. You feel the energy of a Friday. So that would be a good time to kind of hit your wagon to that. It's like riding the thunderbolt, riding the lightning bolt, um, and really kind of seizing that opportunity to capture that energy that's in the ether at this moment. Obviously, it doesn't have to be a Friday. It could be, you know, whatever day that it is. But what it, what it is is you're tuning into, like I said, the energy that's available at any given day. It might take some refining, but that's what time in the game is, where you kind of see those little skilled advancements here and there energetically and just know that they're there. If you feel like you're at a low point, see it as a swell before an incoming wave or rising of the tide and then that way when you are in that level again you know that you are riding the wave from that last swell so to speak or that last crashing tide that'll get you through that low point or that low tide so this is for the water signs guys if you're interested in reading uh, professionally as a um, source of income reach out i have two courses available if you want a one-on-one -on -one reading only two dollars a minute if you're interested, so the devil in the reverse is coming out of toxic, low vibrational energies. It's very much so channeling a let go energy, letting go of the past. It could be that someone wants to invest in you, but you are at the height of your powers, your prowess. You're not really kind of being inundated by that stagnant energy. You're pressing the flesh. You are, um, you know, examining, uh, you know, territories, uh, houses, housing is what I'm getting. Um, you're like some sort of prospector and where you were just like evaluating the quality of something. Uh, almost like I said at the beginning of this reading, the richness of uh, either the quality that you have to give or you know if it's a passion project or if it's a skill or a God-given talent or, or an ability, you are like prospecting that and you are seeing, oh my God, I really actually have something there. Others might be seen as well that, oh, you're really about this life. You're, you're really doing what you preach. You're practicing what you preach, and you are leading by example. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse can speak to maybe at times being confused by the 3D, by the matrix, uh, signaling that you don't have enough or you're not enough. But the Ace of Cup in the upright is that reminder, and it could even be a 3D manifestation of someone reminding you of your worth or your value and this opportunity to kind of shine. I'm also seeing possibly coming out of the status of being single. For some that resonate with that, you just want to make sure that you're not anybody's rebound, you're not accepting this new offer from someone who's in a desperate position or coming out of negativity if it's like an ex-karmic partner or anything like that. Anything else for water signs? Yeah, you're really getting a hold of that kind of inner worth or that value that you have to give. Again, regardless of what the matrix might be signaling to you, that I refer to the matrix as like negative mainstream media, algorithms, especially social media, all that stuff. Okay? You're no longer going to put yourself beneath anyone. You're going to see yourself as a viable option. You see yourself as thriving, as having more than a fighting chance to accomplish your, your um, North Star goals, so to speak. Another aspect or dynamic that I want to communicate is that tuning into the divine means losing sense of time and money and really setting forth the precedent for your goals and achievements by getting lost in what it is that you do every day without clock watching or without bank account watching. Yes, within practical means, but not being inundated by the negative effects of worrying, you know, what's gonna come around the corner or how am I gonna make ends meet, really kind of throwing caution to the wind and really just kind of focusing on the best output and the best effort for that which you're currently doing. And that is how you tune into the divine, um, getting in that groove, getting in that rhythm, losing track of time, losing uh, even track of yourself, so to speak, or sense of yourself, because you're giving your all to that given direction. 
Um, and then on the back end, you're not expecting a return. You're finding joy and reward in the process uh, in and of itself. And that's really kind of like learning how to dance with the universe, with those higher powers of manifestation. So just wanted to share it. Just wanted to share that with you. Um, let's move on to the air signs. How I have more, please. 